Let me say this about you young brothers. <clears throat> I don't know where y'all from or what kind of people y'all are. But y'all get caught up in these ideologies that these people spew like on the Ray and Peel and Manusfield. They talk about the duties and obligations of women to their men and everything. I just hear. I hear all that. But they talk about women like they are just sexual objects, like sexual slaves. A woman is not going to be a sexual slave, bro. And y'all can sit there online and y'all can try to justify these talking points all you want, man. First of all, I don't know what kind of dudes y'all are. I don't want to feel like I'm raping no woman. I don't want no woman laying up under me because she feels she has to. I don't want no woman laying up under me thinking to herself, I hope he hurry up and bust and get up off me. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want put my I don't want no woman that's gonna lick my ass, bro. I don't want no I don't want no I don't want nothing touching my butthole. Put some toilet paper. I don't want no woman that's gonna like guzzle up, come and wanna come kiss me on the mouth. I don't want that, bro. I don't roll like that. I don't want no woman where I'm a fucking ass. She gonna pull it out of her ass, suck my ding ding. You know, I'm that's nasty to me, bro. That's gross to me. I don't do gross. So I don't have these thoughts running through my mind where I'm trying to get women to do some shit that I seen on a porno movie. Y'all need to leave these movies alone, bruh. Between them porno movies and the rhetoric of the red pill and the pro-black community, man, y'all need to leave these people alone, bruh. Y'all need to leave this stuff alone, man. Telling y'all, but it's messing y'all up, bruh. Most women are romantic. You will have a few that are freaky, you know, but they're still going to be romantic. You will have a few that got some fetishes, but they are still going to be romantic. The ones you're going to find is not romantic are the ones that you're dealing with transactionally. The ones that feel like they are obligated for some reason to lay up under you. And I don't want that. I don't want that, but that, that is not the energy I want, man. That is not the kind of interactions I want. That is not the kind of sex I want. So y'all got to understand, my brothers, that, that most women are romantic. Also, you know, you got different styles of women, right? I know some of y'all see these women walk around in yoga pants and everything. Y'all think that makes them a slut. No, bro. Y'all misreading that, man. I don't care how skin tight them yoga pants on. That's just her sexual expression type. Let me put up this chart so y'all can see this here. Because I do have this here, man. You know what I'm saying? That is just her sexual expression type. That's what this is. When you see the women walking around in yoga pants and all that stuff, spray paint on yoga pants, that's her sexual expression type. That don't mean she's a freak. That don't... The sexual, the sexual expression type doesn't mean that she... Uh, is freaky or she's into fetishes and it damn sure don't mean that she's going to get into some kind of transactional relationship where she's obligated to uh, treat a man like he's a king they're not going to do that this is just a this is a sexual expression on behalf of these women that you're looking at you got some women that dress modest but believe it or not you'll find just as many women percentage wise rather that are modest dressers that have some freak in them and you will even find some that got some fetish in them. Yes, you will. You got the exhibitionist type women. You know, the, 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 the kind of women go to Mardi Gras and show their tits and all that stuff, right? You got them kind of wild chicks. But you'll be surprised at how many of them don't have any type of other, you know, they, they don't have any type of fetishes going on. They, they don't do like extremely nasty stuff during sex. You'll be surprised. See, these are all expressions, but they are not indicative of, of of a person's level of uh sexual comfort right uh what do we call this stuff in this other slide the sexual type they are not indicative of a person's sexual type a sexual type is something else so you got to understand that young brothers you know what I'm saying y'all got to stop looking uh at porn and they coming out in the real world thinking to yourself hey this is how women roll let me ask this woman, can I poke it in? Let me ask this chick, can I poke it in her ass? Come on, man. You don't do that, bro. You don't do that, bro. Let me go over and ask this chick to lick my balls. Oh, man. You don't do that, bro. You don't do that, man. 
You know what I'm saying? You just don't do that. These are things that if a woman wants to do, she is going to do on her own. And again, likewise, you shouldn't let her tell you to do nothing. Y'all should bring the energy in the bedroom to have sex. You brothers are impotent, man. You brothers are going to be impotent in a little while, man, because y'all, 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 y'all looking for a fantasy. Real life is never like the fantasy. You will never have sex that, that, that match up to the fantasy. It just won't happen. It just won't happen. So you got to stop looking at the fantasy. You got, and why you want to be like that? What, what's up with this man thinking every woman wants it in their ass, bro? When that dude told me that, I couldn't believe him. I'm like, y'all do that? They're like, yeah. I'm like, man, what makes you think every woman gets fucked in the ass, bro? Even if they like that, man, they got to get to know you first. See, once again, I talk about this on a YouTube channel. The process. There is a process to everything. And the problem is, these online men community, <clears throat> they make y'all think that there is no process. That women are just supposed to do certain things. Nah, man, there is a process. Those women are human beings. They are their own human beings. They have their own characteristics, their own personalities. What they do and how they do it is based on them and them alone. There is no, they supposed to do anything. What they do and how they do it is based on them and them alone. And you got to understand that, man. So anyway, man, I'm, I'm not going to drag this on. This is the first part. I'm going to come back some more and talk about some of this stuff as, as it go on. Because I really want to drop some real talks on Patreon, man. You know, y'all need some, y'all need some real, 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 real talks on Patreon. Because... You brothers are lost. If y'all out here asking women, can y'all stick your, your dicks in their ass? Especially, and they say like the first time they had sex with a woman, they ask them that, man, you killing the energy, bro. It's amazing. It's amazing y'all meet any women that want to have sex with y'all twice. Any woman. It's amazing, bro. Because even if the woman is the nastiest woman on the world in the world, most of them still want some form of romance. They don't want to do transactional. So if you approach this from a cold, mechanical way, you're going to turn off even the nastiest, most freakiest woman. You're going to turn her off. You're going to turn her off. So my brothers don't think like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Understand that, that, that women are human beings. They have their own likes, dislikes, their own tolerance levels. And they got to be comfortable with you to explore things. You know what I'm saying? To... to to try things further or to do something that's outside of their normal comfort zone they got to be comfortable with you man and you got to give them time to get comfortable with you you can't rush the process man the process is the process i mean i'm done on it man you know what i'm saying thank y'all for coming you know thank thank the men for being here if there's any women here thank you for coming too you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna also do a patreon tier for women so check that out you know and um see y'all in the next one man my salon. I'm Brother Kush.